Peppa Pig, The Fire Engine. <coughs> Mummy Pig is going to the mummy's fire engine practice. Oh. It's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat, says Daddy Pig. I'm meeting with the daddy's football team and having a barbecue. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around, says Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we see the fire engine? asks Peppa. <laughs> fire and done, says George. <laughs> yes, Peppa, I'll take you and George, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig drives Peppa and George to Miss Rabbit's fire station. <coughs> Hello, Peppa and George, says Miss Rabbit. Come and see the fire engine. <coughs> There's a ladder for climbing, says Miss Rabbit, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. <coughs> Miss Rabbit takes them into the control room to look for fires. Wow. Peppa spots a red phone and picks it up. <laughs> Peppa, that's the fire phone, says Miss Rabbit. It's only to be used when there's a fire. <coughs> Peppa puts the phone down. <coughs> Suddenly the red phone rings. Miss Rabbit panics. <coughs> fire station, where's the fire? Says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Can I talk to Mummy Pig, please? Asks Daddy Pig. It's an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. <coughs> Miss Rabbit puts the phone down. <coughs> How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? asks Mummy Pig. <coughs> uh, none, replies Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Not one fire, but you've got to be ready. <coughs> the red phone rings again. <coughs> Hello, Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! shouts Daddy Pig. Oh no! Oh dear! Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. <coughs> Mummy's to the rescue! says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Miss Rabbit slides down the pole to the fire engine. All the mummies slide down the pole. Peppa and George hold tight and slide down the pole too. <coughs> they all get into the fire engine. Miss Rabbit puts on the siren and drives them to Peppa's house. <coughs> the fire engine arrives at Peppa's house. Stand back, daddies! shouts Miss Rabbit. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep hose down the barbecue. The fire is out. <coughs> Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit, says Daddy Pig. No problem, it's all part of the service, says Miss Rabbit. The Mummy's Fire Engine Service, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, <coughs> says Daddy Pig, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> I love fire engines, says Peppa. <coughs> Especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, the time capsule. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. They are making a time capsule. Wow to show people in the future how they live. Oh. We'll put special things in this box and bury it, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> will it grow? asks Susie Sheep. <coughs> no, Susie, it will remain in the ground for many years, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> now, children, what things should we put inside? asks Madame Gazelle. A comic, says Peppa. <coughs> Music, <coughs> says Susie. A toy, <coughs> says Danny Dog. A carrot, <coughs> says Rebecca Rabbit. <coughs> what do you think the future will be like? asks Madame Gazelle. <coughs> I think the future will, I will live on the moon, <coughs> says Peppa, and all my friends will come to visit. <coughs> 
I will fly a space rocket, adds Danny. The parents come to pick the children up. Daddy Peak, you're just in time to help us dig a hole, says Madame Gazelle. Everyone goes outside to bury the time capsule. Daddy Pig buries the time capsule. When can we dig it up? asks Peppa. It will remain in the ground for many years, says Madame Gazelle. I can't wait that long, says Peppa impatiently. Madame Gazelle laughs. You're just like your daddy when he was little. <coughs> your parents made a time capsule when they were little too, says Madame Gazelle. <gasps> we buried it over here. I thought it was a much smaller tree, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> the tree has grown since then, replies Madame Gazelle. <coughs> daddy Pig digs up the old time capsule. When they get back inside, it's time to open the old time capsule. Hooray! Stand back, children, says Madame Gazelle. Yes, Madame Gazelle, everyone replies. <laughs> what do we have here, says Madame Gazelle? An old comic, a tin toy, music, and a very old carrot. Wow. That's mine, says Mummy Rabbit. What a good choice, Mummy, says Rebecca. <coughs> and a videotape of your parents when they were little, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? <coughs> asks Peppa. <coughs> that's Daddy Pig, <coughs> replies Mummy Pig. Oh, and that's me. <coughs> Hello, sugar, says little Daddy Pig. What a squeaky little voice you have, says Peppa laughing. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now, says little Daddy Pig. <coughs> Silly little Daddy Pig, says Peppa. <coughs> Making time capsules is lots of fun, but finding them is even better. <coughs> the End Peppa Loves Reading Peppa and George are in the living room, looking at their books while Mummy and Daddy Pig read. <laughs> Peppa notices something strange. Oh. Mummy, she says, why are you and Daddy reading the same book? <laughs> it's our book club book, replies Mummy Pig. What's a book club? asked Peppa. A book club is where we read the same book as our friends so we can talk all about the story together. We're meeting tonight, says Mummy Pig. Wow! Uh-oh, gasped Peppa, looking over at Daddy Pig. Daddy needs to hurry up, says Peppa, giggling. He still has lots of pages left to read before tonight. <laughs> oh, really, says Daddy Pig. I thought I was doing quite well. <laughs> but then he sees that Mummy Pig has nearly finished her book and he quickly gets back to reading. George and I love reading, says Peppa. Please, can we have a book club with our friends today too? <laughs> What a wonderful idea, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig makes a few calls and invites some of Peppa and George's friends over to talk about the red monkey. Wow. <laughs> Daddy Pig sits down to read with Peppa and George. Peppa begins. The red monkey... Ah, uh, <coughs> uh, sounds out, Daddy Pig. That, 
says Pepper. The red monkey sat on the mat. <coughs> cries George. <coughs> wow, says Mummy Pig. What fantastic reading. <coughs> when Pepper and George's friends arrive, they all talk about how much they enjoyed reading the book. I liked it when the red monkey sat on the mat, <laughs> says Susie Sheep. Me too, says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends help each other sound out the words. Ooh, ooh, ha, ha, <laughs> shout George and Richard Rabbit. Like little monkeys. Everyone has lots of fun reading together until the doorbell rings. Who's at the door? asks Peppa. <coughs> it's Mummy and Daddy Pig's friends. Oops, says Daddy Pig. I've been reading The Red Monkey and forgot to read my own book. <laughs> Let's talk about that instead, says Mr Bull. I love The Red Monkey. <coughs> Yay, cheer Peppa and her friends. Peppa and George love reading. Everyone loves reading. The End Peppa Pig. Peppa meets Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day, and Mr. and Mrs. Kangaroo have come to visit Mummy and Daddy Pig. Good eye, Mr. Pig, says Mr. Kangaroo. We met at the airport a while ago, and you said we could visit, remember? Did I? replies Daddy Pig, a bit confused. We didn't have Kylie or Joey back then, adds Mrs. Kangaroo. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo, says Kylie. I'm Peppa Pig, <coughs> snorts Peppa. And this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey, says Kylie, pointing at Mrs. Kangaroo. Joey lives in Mrs. Kangaroo's pocket. He peeks his head out and surprises everyone. <coughs> <laughs> laughed Peppa and George. Mr. Kangaroo asked Daddy Pig if he's hungry. I'm always hungry, <laughs> replies Daddy Pig, rubbing his belly. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, getting out the barbecue. We'll make lunch for everyone. Do you like corn on the cob? asked Mrs. Kangaroo. Yummy, say Mummy and Daddy Pig. Let's hope it doesn't rain, says Daddy Pig. It always rains when we have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> While lunch is cooking, Peppa and George want to jump up and down in muddy puddles, but they can't find any. We can still do jumping, says Peppa. Watch this. Peppa jumps as high as she can. Now you try, Kylie, she says. Kylie jumps high into the air. I like jumping too, she says. Whee! Oh. Wow! That's Peppa and George amazed. Kangaroos can jump very high. We're playing jumping, says Peppa when Rebecca Rabbit arrives. Watch this, squeaks Rebecca, jumping as high as she can. Peppa asks Kylie to show Rebecca how high she can jump. Wow, gasped Rebecca, watching Kylie spring up into the air. Pedro Pony bounces into the garden on his space hopper. Kylie can jump higher than that, says Peppa. Show him, Kylie. 
Wow! Gasped Pedro, watching Kylie leap up into the air. Kylie is the best at jumping because she's a kangaroo. Food's ready! Calls Mr. Kangaroo. But just as they are about to eat, it starts to rain. Oh dear, sighs Daddy Pig. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, putting up a huge umbrella. The rain makes eating outside more fun. After they finish their corn, the rain stops and the sun comes out again. The rain makes lots of muddy puddles too, says Peppa, jumping up and down. Wow, gasped Kylie. That looks really fun. Can we try it as well? Everyone joins Peppa and they all make a giant muddy puddle. I'm the best at jumping in because I'm a kangaroo, says Kylie. But Peppa is the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Peppa Pig, I can be anything. Peppa Pig loves to play dress-up. She uses her imagination to become all kinds of different characters. Mummy and Daddy Pig always tell her she can be anything she wants to be when she grows up. Peppa likes to pretend to be many different things. In dance class, Peppa imagines she is a famous ballerina. On opening night, she wears her favourite tutu and jumps, dances and twirls across the stage. At breakfast time, Peppa imagines she is a chef. Sometimes when Daddy Pig cooks, he needs a little extra help. When Peppa visits Mummy Pig's volunteer firehouse, Peppa imagines she is a firefighter too. Wow! In the fire truck, it is Peppa's job to sound a siren as the firefighters rush to the rescue. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> At the hospital, while visiting Pedro Pony, Peppa imagines she is a nurse. Open up and say ah! Nurse Peppa says. With Nurse Peppa, a speedy recovery is just around the corner. At the playground, Peppa imagines she is a construction worker. She helps the construction team fill a hole with cement. She digs, moves, pours and gets the job done right. When Peppa, George and their friends play make-believe, Peppa imagines she is an astronaut. Peppa and her space team travel to the moon in a rocket ship. Three, two, one, blast off! Peppa loves to imagine that she can be anything when she grows up. But for now, she likes to play pretend and have a new adventure every day. Yay! The End <laughs> Peppa Pig, Grumpy Rabbit's Lighthouse Peppa George and Danny Dog are helping deliver supplies to Grandad Dog's friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? asks Peppa. Out at sea on a rock, says Grandad Dog. On a rock, says Peppa. Yes, in that lighthouse, says Danny. Wow. Oh, gasps Peppa and George. They land at the lighthouse. Hooray! Visitors! exclaims Grampy Rabbit. I haven't had visitors in 
many a moon. I get lonely with just the sea and the sky for company. How long have you been here? asked Peppa. Since Tuesday, says Grumpy Rabbit. I've got tales to tell, says Grumpy Rabbit, if you'd like to hear. No thanks, says Grandad Dog quickly. Yes, please, reply Peppa and Danny. Grumpy Rabbit starts to sing. I got up this morning, the sea was still there. So was the sky, the sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Peppa and Danny join in. Why is your house called the Lighthouse? asked Peppa. I'll show you, says Grumpy Rabbit. They climb a staircase to the very top of the lighthouse. It's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top, says Grumpy Rabbit. Wow. It shines through the dark, helping sailors find their way. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit takes out a megaphone. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. He says, Fog! That's loud, cries Peppa. No fog today, just sea and sky, says Grumpy Rabbit sadly. <sighs> the stories I could tell. No thanks, says Grandad Dog. We must be going. Peppa George, Danny and Grandad Dog set off for home. It is now very dark. Don't worry, says Grandad Dog. The light from Grumpy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us a way home. Grumpy Rabbit is ready for bed, so he turns the light out. He also turns the big light out. Grandad Dog phones Grumpy Rabbit. Could you turn the big light on again? he asks. The big light shines again. Hooray! cry Peppa and Danny. It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore, says Peppa. Grandad Dog phones Grumpy Rabbit. It's us again, he says. Can you sound the foghorn, please? Fog! Bellows Grumpy Rabbit. Fog! Grumpy Rabbit's voice is like a foghorn. <coughs> Thanks to Grumpy Rabbit, they arrive back safe on land. <coughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Mrs Dog are waiting to take them home. We went to a lighthouse, says Peppa excitedly. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely, <coughs> says Grandad Dog. Grumpy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? asked Peppa. No thanks, says Grandad Dog. Yes, please, say the parents. Peppa and Danny sing. I got up this morning, the sea was still there. So was the sky, the sea, the sky. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig. Peppa loves our planet. It was Love Our Planet Week at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends were very excited. Welcome, children, said Madame Gazelle, pointing to a picture of the world. This is Earth, the planet we live on. Oh. Wow, gasped the children. The little things we do to look after our planet can make a big difference, continued Madame Gazelle. Can anybody think of some things we can do to help? Recycle, cried Peppa. Use less water, said Pedro Pony. Grow our own snacks, squeaked Rebecca Rabbit. Walk not drive, said Zoe Zebra. Save electricity, <coughs> barked Danny Dog, switching off the light. All excellent ideas, said Madame Gazelle. 
Well done, but let's turn the lights back on for now, Danny, so we can see. Okay, said Danny. <coughs> now, children, I'd like you each to make a Love Our Planet scrapbook at home, said Madame Gazelle. You can fill it with all the things you do to help look after our planet and then bring it in for show and tell. Oh! Ooh, gasped Peppa and her friends excitedly. They loved making scrapbooks and they loved show and tell. At home time, Daddy Pig arrived with Peppa and George's scooter. Can we scooter home every day, Daddy? asked Peppa. It will be better for our planet if we don't use the car. Great idea, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. I love scootering. Daddy Pig raced off and Peppa and George scootered after him. Wait for us, Daddy, cried Peppa. When they got home, Peppa and George helped Mummy and Daddy Pig with dinner. If we put the peelings in the waste bin... Grandpa can use the compost for his garden, said Peppa. Then he can look after our planet too. Lovely idea, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. We can take them to Grandpa tomorrow. The next day, Peppa and George scootered over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house with the food waste bin. Thank you, Peppa, said Grandpa Pig, thrilled with his gift. Over time, these peelings will turn into compost, which will be very fantastic food for my plants and will help my garden grow very nicely. And it will help look after our planet, said Peppa. <coughs> then Grandpa Pig had a surprise. He gave Peppa and George a window box to take home. These flowers are very important, he explained. Bees and butterflies love them. We need insects to help plants make seeds. Thank you, Grandpa, cried Peppa, buzzing around and pretending to be a bee. I'm a busy bee, looking after our planet. Buzz, buzz, George giggled. <laughs> when they arrived home from Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, Peppa and George watered their lovely new window box. Look, George, cried Peppa. All these bees and butterflies have come to visit our new flowers. We're looking after our planet. After lunch, it was time to pop to the shops. Daddy, remember to bring some old shopping bags so we don't have to get new ones, said Peppa. <coughs> Great idea, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, picking up some shopping bags to reuse. Right, let's go. <coughs> Just as they were leaving, George pointed to the light switch. He wants to turn off the light to look after our planet explained Peppa. Thank you, George, said Mummy Pig. I'll do it for you. From now on, your job can be to remind us to turn off the lights. George grinned. He was very happy with his new job. <laughs> that evening, Peppa and George tidied up and put everything into the right recycling bin. Let's sing the recycling song, said Peppa. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. We'll take everything to Mr. Bull's recycling depot tomorrow, said Mummy Pig. But there's still one more thing left for us to do today. Our scrapbooks, cheered Peppa. Peppa and George used some of the cardboard from the recycling bin to make their Love Our Planet scrapbooks. Then they drew and stuck in pictures of 
all the different things they had done to help look after our planet. Wow, what lovely scrapbooks, said Daddy Pig. They're recycled, Daddy, said Peppa proudly. At bedtime, Daddy Pig was the last one to brush his teeth. Make sure you turn off the tap while you're brushing, Daddy, said Peppa. That way you won't waste any water. Slunk slapper, mumbled Daddy Pig through a mouthful of toothpaste. The next morning at Playgroup, Peppa, George and their friends showed Madame Gazelle their Love Our Planet scrapbooks. Fantastic work, children, said Madame Gazelle. You found lots of ways to look after our planet. I hope you've all learned that when it comes to looking after our planet, every little thing makes a big difference, Hooray! shouted Peppa and her friends, finishing Madame Gazelle's sentence for her. Peppa, George and their friends love our planet. Everyone loves our planet. The End Peppa Pig Recycling Fun Mr. Bull the Bin Man is collecting the rubbish. It is early in the morning so he tries to be as quiet as he can. Crash! Smash! Smash! But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Hello Mr. Bull, snorts Daddy Pig, Peppa and George. Hello everyone, says Mr. Bull. Peppa and George are helping to clear up the breakfast things. We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin, they can be recycled, says Mammy Pig. Soon they have collected enough things so Peppa and her family set off for the recycle centre. Mammy Pig has the bottles and Peppa has the tin cans. George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? asked Daddy Pig. Yes! shout Peppa and George. Clink, clink, rattle, rattle, rustle, rustle. Soon they arrive at Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. Miss Rabbit is sitting up high up inside a big crane. She is busy recycling all the rusty old cars. It is very noisy. Who knows which bin the bottles go in? asks Mummy Pig. The green one, says Peppa. That's right, snorts Daddy Pig. Clink, clink. And the cans go in the blue one, says Peppa. Well done, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. Rattle, rattle. Daddy Pig lifts George up so he can empty the newspapers into the red bin. Rustle, rustle. Where's our car gone? asks Daddy Pig. Stand back, shouts Miss Rabbit from up above them. Miss Rabbit is about to recycle Peppa's car. Stop, shouts Peppa. Our car isn't old and rusty. Ha ha, silly me, says Miss Rabbit. I just love recycling. So do we, laughs Peppa. But we also love our little car. The End Peppa Pig and the Earth Day Adventure <coughs> It's Earth Day and Peppa Pig and her family are ready to celebrate with a visit to the Botanical Gardens. Wow! <coughs> Before they go, Peppa and George sort the recycling. <coughs> Newspapers go in the red bin Cans go in the blue bin and bottles go in the green bin. <laughs> Vegetable scraps and eggshells go into the compost bin, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig will use the compost in his garden. <laughs> Ew, says George. <laughs> it's time to go and Daddy Pig has a surprise. An electric car. This car 
runs on batteries instead of gas. That helps the air stay clean. The car even has a name. It is called Roger. This car can drive itself, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa and George look out the window on the way to the botanical gardens. Look, says Peppa, a windmill. <coughs> Ew, says George. <coughs> Mr. Bull built a windmill near my school, <coughs> says Peppa. The wind turns the blades and they make electricity. Whoosh, says George. <laughs> At the Botanical Gardens, Peppa and her family meet Miss Rabbit. Welcome, she says. Would you like to see the wildflower garden? <gasps> yes, please, says Peppa. <laughs> Look at all the bees, says Mammy Pig. <laughs> the bees and flowers help each other. Miss Rabbit tells them, The bees take pollen from one flower and move it to another one. That helps the flower make seeds which grow into new flowers. Wow! Peppa and her family visit the room with cacti and palm trees. Oh. Peppa sees a new plant. <coughs> what is that? She says. That is a Venus fly trap, Miss Rabbit says. It eats flies. <laughs> Peppa and George watch while the plant eats a fly. <coughs> wow, says Peppa. <coughs> Jump, says George. <coughs> the next room is very wet. This is a rainforest garden, says Miss Rabbit. These plants need lots of water. Miss Rabbit flips a switch and turns on the rain. Next, they head outside to the children's garden, where they find something really special. A muddy puddle. <coughs> Peppa's friends are visiting the botanical gardens today too. Hello, Susie Sheep. Hello, Pedro Pony. Hello, Mandy Mouse, <coughs> she says. <laughs> On the way home, Daddy has a rest while Roger drives the car. Wow. It's like magic, says Peppa. Police officers, panda and squirrels stop Daddy Pig's car because Daddy Pig doesn't have his hands on the wheel. But it's okay, Roger is driving. Roger shows his driver's license to the officers. It's dark when the family returns home. It has been a great Earth Day. Will you be all right out here, Roger? <coughs> Asked Peppa. Oh, yes, says Roger. Good night, Peppa. <coughs> Good night, Roger, <coughs> says Peppa. Happy Earth Day! <coughs> the end. Peppa Pig, read it yourself, school bus trip. Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. Hooray! Is everyone here? says Madame Gazelle. Yes, they say. <laughs> everyone loves school trips. Where are we going for our trip? says Peppa. Oh. We are going to the mountains, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone says. <laughs> they all look out as they go. The bus is going to the top of a big mountain. It is very high up. Wow. Come on, bus, says Peppa. <laughs> up, up, up they go. 
the children sing a song as they go. The bus gets to the top and everyone gets out. Come and look at the big mountains, says Madame Gazelle. Wow! Peppa looks at the mountains. She is very high up. Wow! She says. Everyone hears. Wow! 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 What was that? Says Peppa. That was an echo, says Madame Gazelle. It is what you hear when you call out up in the mountains. <laughs> Come on, everyone, says Peppa. We can all make an echo. The children call out. Wow, they can hear. Wow, wow, wow. Everyone loves echoes. Come on, children, says Madame Gazelle. It is time for your picnic. Hooray, Hooray says everyone. <laughs> Where are the ducks, says Peppa. They love it when we have picnics too. <laughs> Peppa and her friends look out for the ducks. Here come the ducks. <laughs> Hooray, says Peppa. Quack, 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 say the ducks. Come here, ducks, says Madame Gazelle. Yes, come to our picnic, ducks, says Peppa. <laughs> then the ducks have a big picnic too. <laughs> it is time to go back to school. The children get in the bus. Then they sing a song as they go back down the mountain. <laughs> Everyone loves school trips. The End Read It Yourself Peppa Pig Nature Trail Peppa Pig and her family are going on a picnic in the woods. Daddy Pig has the map. Wow! We need the picnic too, says Mummy Pig. But the picnic is still in the car. In the woods, Peppa sees something on the ground. Look down there, says Peppa. I can see some footprints on the ground. Peppa and her family follow the footprints on the ground. Wow! A bird made these footprints, says Mummy Pig. Look up there in the tree, says Peppa. I can see some birds. There is a mummy bird and some little birds up in the tree. Then Peppa sees more little footprints on the ground. Look down there, says Peppa. I can see some ants. Peppa and her family are hungry. They need the picnic, but it is still in the car. Daddy Pig looks at the map. I don't know the way back to the car, he says. I know, says Peppa. I can see our footprints too. We can follow our footprints back to the car. Then it rains. The rain takes all the footprints away. Oh no! I know, says Peppa. I can see some ducks over there. Ducks love the rain and they love picnics. We can follow these ducks back to the picnic in our car. The hungry family follow the ducks all the way back to the car. I love picnics in the wood, says Peppa.
The birds, the ants and the ducks love the picnic too. The End Peppa Pig, read it yourself with Ladybird. Sports Day. <laughs> it is Sports Day at school. Wow. Peppa George and everyone are there. Hooray! First, it is a running race. Oh. Ready, steady, go, says Madame Gazelle. They all run as fast as they can. Peppa is not ready. She comes last and she is not at all happy. <sighs> Rebecca Rabbit wins the running race. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone says. <laughs> Next is the long jump. Ready, steady, go! says Madame Gazelle again. George jumps as far as he can, but he comes last. George is not happy at all. Richard Rabbit wins a long jump. Hooray! Everyone says. Next, it is the relay race. Oh. Ready, steady, go, says Madame Gazelle again. Daddy Pig runs as fast as he can. <laughs> Here, Peppa, says Daddy Pig, run as fast as you can. But Peppa is not ready. Emily Elephant wins the relay race. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone says. <laughs> Peppa comes last again. And she is not happy at all. <sighs> Next, it is the tug of war. Wow! Ready, steady, go! Says Madame Gazelle. Everyone tugs as hard as they can. Snap! The rope breaks. Oh. Now everyone wins, says Madame Gazelle. Hooray! Hooray, says Peppa. I win at last. I like sports day. Yay! The end. Peppa Pig, A Magical Christmas Christmas is coming. Hooray! Peppa and George are building a snowman with Mummy Pig. Wow. I hope Father Christmas brings me lots of presents, says Peppa. Presents aren't everything, Mummy Pig says. If you're very good, Peppa, you'll have a magical Christmas. Peppa wants to be good. She looks at the snowman and gets an idea. She gives it a hat, scarf and glasses. It reminds her of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa wants everyone to have a magical Christmas too. She invites George, Richard and her friends to go caroling. But Susie Sheep is too scared to sing in front of other people. <sighs> Peppa wonders how she can make Susie feel better. Would it help if you stood next to me? That would help, <laughs> Susie says, and they all sing beautifully. La, la, la. At home, Peppa wonders what else she can do to make Christmas magical. I know, she 
she says. I'll help decorate the house. Peppa picks out the brightest, shiniest decorations. It's a magical sight. Inside, Daddy Pig accidentally gets tied up in the Christmas lights while they are all decorating the tree. I'll help you, Daddy, Peppa says. Peppa and George untangle him. <laughs> Next, Peppa helps Mummy Pig wrap a big present for George. She makes sure the wrapping paper is green, just like George's special dinosaur. <laughs> the night before Christmas, Mummy Pig tucks Peppa and George in. This week I helped our family, I helped my friends and I helped the snowman, Peppa says. <laughs> Even if Father Christmas doesn't bring me presents, I've already had the most magical Christmas ever, Peppa says. Little does Peppa know, Father Christmas is coming to her house on his sleigh. When Peppa wakes up, she has presents. Wow! How did Father Christmas know this is what I wanted? She asked. Mummy Pig smiles. I think Father Christmas is always watching. So it's always good to be good. <coughs> Merry Magical Christmas! The End Peppa Pig, Australian fun. <laughs> Peppa loves exploring Australia. Let's go to the beach, she says. Mr Kangaroo drives everyone there in his camper van. The sand is rough and scratchy, says Kylie Kangaroo. Let's go! <laughs> At the beach, the children can't wait to get in the water. Come on, Peppa, cries Kylie. Let's go surfing. <laughs> Peppa giggles. The waves are big and bumpy. Woohoo! Peppa loves the animals in Australia. Look, says Peppa. I found a teddy bear. That's a koala, says Mummy Pig. Its fur is fluffy and soft. Peppa enjoys playing with boomerangs. Wow. When she throws one in the air, it comes right back to her. My boomerang works like magic, shouts Peppa. It is smooth and bendy. Most of all, Peppa loves her friends in Australia. I love your pink dress, Peppa tells Kylie. I love your red dress, Kylie replies. It is happy and bright, just like you. Bye-bye. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig and the Silly Sniffles <laughs> Peppa Pig and Susie Sheep are playing store. Susie Sheep stocks the shelves. Peppa takes the money. This is a fun job, says Peppa. <laughs> Danny Dog is their first customer. Hello! I'll have some cookies, please. Hmm. We don't have any cookies, <laughs> says Susie, but we have a toy telephone. <coughs> Candy Cat is next. May I have a loaf of bread, please? Meow. We don't have any bread, <laughs> says Susie, but here's a toy house. 
More and more customers come in. Rebecca Rabbit buys a carrot. Zoe Zebra asks for apples and Susie and Peppa sell her a toy truck. Being a shopkeeper is hard work, says Peppa. Pedro Pony comes in next. Achoo! Achoo! <coughs> Pedro has the sniffles. Oh no! Poor Pedro. Peppa and Susie don't have anything in their shop for him. <sighs> Susie, says Peppa, let's play a game. We can help Pedro feel better. Peppa and Susie go to the dress-up boxes and change into their new outfits. Then Dr. Peppa and Nurse Susie go to work. Let's have a look, Pedro, says Dr. Peppa. Peppa examines the patient. Oh, this is serious, she says. What should we do? Asks Nurse Susie. Peppa has an idea. She knows just what to do to make Pedro feel better. Wow. How's that, Pedro? Asks Susie. <coughs> <coughs> Don't worry, Pedro, says Peppa. I have another idea. Hooray! Are you feeling better yet, Pedro? <coughs> Asks Susie. Achoo! Achoo! <coughs> Not yet. Achoo! Oh no! <sighs> okay, I have an extra special treatment, <coughs> says Peppa. Oh. Great idea, Peppa, <coughs> says Susie. You are a very good doctor. <coughs> Achoo! <coughs> <coughs> Peppa and Susie try again. They are giving Pedro a cast. But Peppa, says Pedro, I don't have a broken neck. I have the sniffles. Achoo! Achoo! Uh, uh. <coughs> but everyone wants to see and sign Pedro's cast. Oh. Candy Cat draws a flower. Danny Dog draws a parrot. Zoe Zebra draws Mr. Potato. And Dr. Pepper draws a muddy puddle. <laughs> oh, I think I have the sniffles too, Meow. says Candy Cat. Can you help me, Dr. Pepper? Yes, me too, <laughs> says Danny Dog. I need the cast. <laughs> Everybody wants Dr. Pepper to help. <laughs> I still have the sniffles, says Pedro. But I feel much better. Thank you, Nurse Susie. Thank you, Dr. Pepper. The end. <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. Peppa and her family were going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. We'd better hurry, said Mummy Pig, or we'll be late. Don't worry, we have plenty of time, said Daddy Pig. Besides, we're always early. Yes, don't worry, Mummy, said Peppa. Then she whispered, Daddy, what does worry mean? Daddy Pig explained that a worry is something you feel unsure about. It's when we think something not so good might happen. But we're always early, said Peppa. And Granny and Grandpa won't mind even if we are late. Oh. No, I'm sure they won't, said Mummy Pig. So you don't need to worry then, Mummy, said Peppa. You're right, I don't said Mummy Pig. Thank you, Peppa. As they were getting ready, Daddy Pig told Peppa that the best thing to do when you have a worry is to tell someone. Oh. Share your worry with us, 
said Daddy Pig. Then, poof! Just like magic, it will disappear. I shared my worry about being late, said Mummy Pig, and it disappeared. Exactly, said Daddy Pig. Oh, look at the time. We'd better get going, or we might actually be late. <laughs> Outside, Daddy Pig spotted a grey cloud in the sky. Hmm, he said, I think I might put the car roof on. Why, Daddy? asked Peppa. I like the roof off, it's so whooshy in the wind. I like it off too, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, but I'm worried it might rain and we'll get wet. Don't worry, Daddy, said Peppa. If it rains, you can put the roof up then. Yes, I suppose I could, said Daddy Pig. So you don't need to worry then, Daddy, said Peppa. No, not at all, said Daddy Pig. Thank you, Peppa. The best thing to do with a worry is to share it, Daddy, said Peppa. Then, poof, just like magic, it will disappear. Daddy Pig laughed. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hello, little ones, said Granny Pig when they arrived. Are we late for lunch, Granny? asked Peppa. You don't need to worry, you're always early, said Granny Pig. Peppa looked at Mummy Pig and smiled. See, Mummy, she whispered. Mummy Pig winked. Peppa and George ran out into the garden. Hello there, called Grandpa Pig. He was in his shed making a toy racing car for Peppa and George to play with. Wow, wow, cheered George. <laughs> Peppa hopped in the car first and rode around the garden. She went up and down the hill, squeezing the horn. Doot, doot. <laughs> when it was George's turn to drive the car, he wasn't too sure. What's wrong, George? asked Grandpa Pig. You look a bit worried. The best thing to do when you have a worry is to share it, George, said Peppa. Then, puff, just like magic, it will disappear. <laughs> George pointed at a hill. I think George is worried about the hill, Grandpa, said Peppa. Well, that's easy to sort, said Grandpa Pig. Let's take the car to a flatter part of the garden. Woo, woo, cheered George, zooming around in the car. Soon, he even felt fine about the hill and raced down it as fast as he could. I don't think George has a worry anymore, Grandpa, said Peppa. No, said Grandpa Pig, trying to keep up with George. I don't think George has any worries at all. <laughs> when they'd finished playing, Grandpa Pig, Peppa and George went inside for lunch. Yummy, cheered Peppa. This is delicious. Hmm. Thank you, Peppa, said Granny Pig. I tried a new recipe and was a bit worried how it would turn out. The best thing to do when you have a worry is to share it, Granny, said Peppa. Then poof, just like magic, it will disappear. That's very true, Peppa, said Granny Pig. As it was such a lovely afternoon, Granny Pig suggested they eat their cake in the garden. Look at that, said Mummy Pig. Not a cloud in the sky, Daddy Pig. Yes, said Daddy Pig, smiling. Why don't you all go outside and I'll bring out the cake, said Grandpa Pig. Can I help Grandpa, asked Peppa. Of course, Peppa, replied Grandpa Pig. That's very kind. <laughs> Can I carry the cake, Grandpa, asked Peppa. 
It's a bit heavy, said Grandpa Pig, but why don't you carry this very special plate instead? Grandpa Pig went outside with the cake and Peppa followed. She felt proud to be carrying the very special plate. But just as she was about to step outside, she bumped into a chair and dropped the plate. Oh no! Peppa cried, looking at the broken plate. <sighs> when Peppa walked outside, her tummy felt a bit wobbly. But then she remembered what Daddy Pig told her. I have a little worry, Grandpa, said Peppa. Well, why don't you tell me all about it so I can help you, said Grandpa Pig. Peppa told Grandpa Pig about the broken plate. <gasps> and it's your very special one, she said sadly. I'm sorry, Grandpa. <coughs> Don't worry, Peppa, said Grandpa Pig, giving her a big cuddle. That plate doesn't matter at all. What matters is that you're okay. Thank you, Grandpa, said Peppa, and poof. Just like magic, Peppa's little worry disappeared. <coughs> Peppa showed Grandpa Pig where the broken plate was so he could clean it up, and then they went back outside. Peppa felt much better. <coughs> could I have a really big slice of cake, please, Granny? she asked. Remember, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, the best thing to do with a cake is to share it. <laughs> yes, Daddy, said Peppa, giggling. I've shared my worry, and now I'll share the cake. <laughs> and poof, just like magic, Peppa's really big slice of cake disappeared. The end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 3. The Scarecrow. Meet Peppa, George, Granny Pig, and Grandpa Pig. Learn. Every fly has him, his, live, off, put, some, them, when. Read. Shed. Face. Scarecrow. Wow. Grandpa Pig is in his garden with Peppa and George. <laughs> we can plant some seeds in this soil says Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George put every seed in the soil. Every seed will turn into a plant, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. Some birds live in Grandpa Pig's garden. What a lot of birds, says Peppa. When you plant some seeds, the birds will fly down and eat some of them. Some of them, said Grandpa Pig. The birds eat my seeds every time I put them in the soil. Fly away. The birds did not fly away. We need a plan to stop them. Grandpa Pig went to his shed. Peppa and George went with him. Grandpa Pig has a plan said Granny Pig. I will stop them. When the birds see my plan, they will not want to live in my garden. Every bird will fly away when they see it, said Grandpa Pig. Peppa had two sticks and George had some cloth. They ran out of Grandpa Pig's shed and went back to his garden. Grandpa Pig 
put the sticks into a cross. He put the cloth on top. Wow! Will this make the birds fly away? said Peppa. Yes, every bird will fly away when they see him, said Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Grandpa Pig has a scarecrow, said Peppa. <coughs> Peppa and George put a face on him. He has a pretty face, <coughs> said Peppa. Wow. The birds will fly away when they see him, said Grandpa Pig. <coughs> The birds did not fly away. I think they like him, said Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Granny has a plan too, said Peppa. The birds can eat some of the seeds I have put in the tree, said Granny Pig. Oh. Granny Pig's plan has worked. Hooray! The birds ate the seeds Granny Pig had put in the tree. They did not eat Grandpa Pig's seeds. Now all of the birds in the scarecrow can live in the garden, said Peppa. <laughs> the end. First words with Peppa Pig. Level 5. The Thunderstorm. Meet Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Learn about fall, far, fool, got, laugh, light, Never, only. Read. Thunderstorm. Sky. Rain. Water. Teddy. Shoes. Tickle. Laugh. <laughs> Peppa and George were having tea in the garden. The sky was light blue and the sun was hot. Peppa, George, come in now. The sky is full of clouds. There is about to be a thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. Peppa and George ran into the house. My arms were full, so I forgot about Teddy, said Peppa. <sighs> I will get Teddy. The sky is full of clouds, but it is not far to go said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Do not get wet. The rain will fall soon, said Mummy Pig. I never get wet, said Daddy Pig. The sky was not light blue for long. Soon it was dark and the rain began to fall. Daddy Pig got wet, but he got Teddy too. It is far too wet to be out there. My shoes are full of water, said Daddy Pig. <laughs> Here is Teddy. He got a bit wet, said Daddy Pig. Oh, Teddy, it was far too wet in the rain, said Peppa. It's only a bit of water, said Mummy Pig. They got a cloth and soon Teddy was not wet. Hooray! What about me? said Daddy Pig. I am far too wet. My shoes are full of water. <coughs> you said you never get wet, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> Daddy Pig began to laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing about? asked Mummy Pig. <coughs> Stop! It tickles! He said. You can laugh, but we will not stop, said Peppa. <laughs> Just then, there was a flash of light in the sky. <coughs> what was that light? asked Peppa. It was only the thunderstorm, said Mummy Pig. 
It was only the thunderstorm, said Mammy Pig. Soon it will go far away and there will be only light blue sky left. The sky may be full of clouds and the rain may be falling out there, but we will never get wet in here, said Daddy Pig. A drop of water began to fall from the roof. Mammy Pig began to laugh. You said it will never get wet in here, Daddy. Daddy Pig laughed. I was wrong. <laughs> Daddy Pig got a bucket for the drop of water. Hooray! When will the sky be light blue again? Asked Peppa. Soon. Thunderstorms never last long, said Mummy Pig. Soon the thunderstorm was far away. The sun was back and the sky was light blue again. Best of all, the thunderstorm had left the garden full of mud. <laughs> Peppa laughed and jumped about in a big spot of mud. This is the only bit about thunderstorms I like, said Peppa. Peppa, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig all began to laugh. What fun! The End Hi kids! Did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!